right, thanks guys. I'm now joined here by head coach Clint Hartman and the Le of the Legacy Rebels. And coach, a great game for you guys. You have one more district play ahead of you, one last game before the playoff season. What are some big key takeaway from tonight's performance? Your takeaway was, you know, we... Uh you know, we, we've had a, they've had a hard time running the ball on us, and like I said, it, it really helped tonight that we had a great defensive plan. Our defensive staff, you know, I get to be in that room with them and say it, it's a team effort. And I promise you, Coach Mal and then Coach L and, and Quigley and, and McCall and, and B.A., I can go through the list, Butron, you know, and so um, proud of that, but it also proud that, you know, we were a little frustrated, and then instead of just, you know, early on in the year we got frustrated and, and, and it got us out of our game. They, they just kind of kept playing, and in the second half, Marco started seeing things. You know, they had a different defense than we expected. So it took a little while to figure out. And then uh, I think over time we warmed down a little bit. Um, but for us, takeaway is, you know, we're in the driver's seat to win our fifth straight district title. That's six in a row against the Crosstown rival. And those are hard to do. And sometimes, you know, people look at that and they forget about the Colby standards and the Josh Trailers and the Sheldon Basses and, you know, go through the list and, and Loic Fungies and Carl Taylors, you know, and th that they're a part of that, you know. And um, so I told these guys, you know, you're obligated to, to keep that going. 35 unanswered points in the second half, and you guys just held Bulldogs to three points all game long. What can you tell me about your defense? You kind of already mentioned it, but they were outstanding with the turnovers and everything throughout this game. They were outstanding, you know, um, and they were outstanding. They got put in bad situations a couple times, you know, fourth down. We gave them a lot of short fields. I, I wanted to get the ball back, so we onsided it a lot because I, their, their best, they, they say it, they put it in the paper that their best uh, defense is their offense. Well, our best defense is our defense and so uh, we can keep giving the ball back to offense we felt like we weren't being close enough to score plays score points and, and uh, I think it was just you know second half we kind of got going a little bit first half like I said we we're a little frustrated and we were a little surprised that they gave us the ball and the and the wind uh, and uh, and so that makes you think they're going to try to play uh, to the fourth quarter and see if they can get a kick right and and we just you know we took advantage of them we saw some things at halftime made some adjustments this cold, this wind, did it make any difference for you guys? You, you said you were just now feeling this cold after this game. Yeah, so, you know, if you're going to play in December, it's going to be cold. So that's our goal. So, you know, for us, uh, one more step towards the district championship and one more step for these uh, seniors. You know, they got senior night next week, so we got to end on a good one. Well, thank you, Coach. I really appreciate your time. And, again, you got one more ahead of you before yep. the playoffs. But thank you so much, and congratulations on that win. And I'll send it back to you guys. And win the playoffs. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.